Hey, what's going on guys? We need 666 here today, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bad boy, the 8x4 sliding wall with a door implemented into it, and uh, we're just going to skip straight to it and come over here. So, today guys, for this tutorial, you will be needing a stack and a half of redstone, uh, 8 redstone torches, 40 repeaters, 64 normal pistons, not sticky, 144 uh, blocks of your choice to build the actual mechanism with and to cover and I've got 32 um, blocks to cover the wall and then I've also got 32 to make the glass door we need two gates, two rail and two buttons so I'll just show you that guys in case you want to have a little look again here we go right then let's get to it so to start guys you want to build 8 by 4 in glass and the block of your choice, I'm using snow right next to it. And you're gonna to want to stack pistons on the one side. You can do it this either way because it'll work either way. But right behind it, so right directly behind this block, you wanna put four and then eight up. And then just over the other side, you wanna leave a gap, then piston, gap, piston, gap, piston, gap, piston. And you wanna stack them eight up high. So we have something like this. Right, so let's get our ingredients. So let's get our redstone. We need our redstone, redstone repeaters, some of that. Get all our stuff. We've got our pistons and everything ready. Let's get some snow blocks here. And let's get started. I won't put the door until later on, guys, just so it stops the confusion. Right, so starting from this side. We're going to go block, 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 block. So we got our four blocks. Then go to the opposite side, right to the very end piston again. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Go away. Block, 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 and block. So you can see it lines up with the pistons, whereas that side doesn't at the moment. But then we're going to do like a, a staggered effect up once we put down these redstone. So we're going to put redstone on top of these and repeaters in between. And we're gonna set these to two because it does work on one, but it'll glitch out the door and sometimes not work at all and mess everything up and you don't want that. So go do the same the other side. Got redstone and repeaters. Did I set them to? Yep, we did, right. So that's your start, guys. You've got everything set up and you've got your four blocks at the bottom. Now we're just going to do the same on top, so one, two, three, and just on the end here, four, and we're going to put repeaters on top of these ones, here, oh, set them to two, like so, and the same the other side, so we're going to go Here's a guide. There we go. One. God damn it. Two. It's really hard to do on the Xbox. There we go. And four. And we're going to put repeaters on them as well. And we're going to kind of stagger this effect up. And what this does <coughs> is it ensures that all the pistons go off at the same time. So we're just going to stagger that up. And each time we're coming out, we're going to try and make a diagonal going up this way. So just the end blocks here, as you can see, just going up in diagonal. We're going to keep going in that fashion until we get to the very, very top. So uh, let's just speed through this. Small blocks over here. There you go. Black, 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 black. Small redstone. Some redstone, redstone, redstone. Same again. Corner there. Oh, we can just go back there. Going up diagonally again, look. Putting them on two. Just like so. And this this side. Just going off these guys because it's pretty hard to go off the corner every time on Xbox. <laughs> 
uh, what I'm doing this guys I'm just explaining a, a little bit of how I made the door um, this idea was given to me by um, Neuropsych and he designed um, same, same idea with the moving uh, moving walls um, but just wired up differently so obviously I wanted to try and make a, a compact version that was my own version and uh, once I finished I realized you could put a door in it so happy days for us <laughs> So we're just going to keep stacking these guys, stacking, stacking, stacking. This whole build doesn't take that long. It only takes about five minutes at most, I think. So I'm just going to try and get through this as fast as I can for you guys. Just slap them down there. Slap you guys on here. So you end up going up in like a lattice fashion. So as you can see, it's starting to make like a checker design out of redstone. <laughs> slap these down. Over here, put another one there. Block doing this the most backwards way ever. <laughs> Block, get rid of them, and we're going to put them on two as well. Anyone wants to? Watch the end of the video, guys. After I've made this, I can show you how you can turn this into um, <clears throat> so it'll open and reveal four rails and how to power the rails up as well. That's pretty pretty interesting concept. Come on, there we go. Just do it that way. Much quicker. There you go. Oh, there you go. Another one here, a block, and then more repeaters. Just going to down the way across. One, two. Almost at the top, guys. Almost done. Redstone. Same over here. Like you guys couldn't guess. <laughs> I think this whole design is only one, no, it's too thick altogether, apart from the way you wire up the um, buttons wherever you want the buttons to be. Just the last one on top. Oops. Another block, another block, another block. Guess what? Another block. Come on. You want to get up from that one again? All repeaters. Same this side. Oop, I don't think I set them repeats to two there. Let's go back and do the other side. And that. 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 Just going to set all these to two. And one more line on top, guys. Just over here as well. And then one block out from that repeater on that side, after the very top. And one block out from this repeater here. There we are. So what this allows to do is pass the power, the repeater block powers this block here, which powers the redstone below and the repeater next to it. Then of course this one will power that block and so on and so forth. And this one will pass the power through to that repeater and through to the block, through the repeater, and ensures they work all at the same time. So that's that set up. Now we're going to put our lines in to power. So 
just going to put a stack down from the block at the end just next to the repeater just there so we're going to make a stack down and we're going to take out every other one so we'll just take them out and the same the other side Just like that, take out them ones. Block, block, block. So you end up with three blocks just like that. Then what we're going to do <clears throat> is make sure you power the ones that um, pistons that are closed first, okay? Otherwise, it'll uh, you know just look like it hasn't worked at all. So we're going to put some power into this side just to make sure it works, just like that. And we'll put another torch here, another torch here, another torch here. And that, what that will do is just pass the power up through them. And we're going to put a block there and another torch just here. Oh, oh sorry guys, that's wrong. Let's take that torch away. We're going to put a block here. We're going to put a repeater and a redstone dust and we're going to do the same the other side so without messing up this time redstone torch i'll push the door back redstone torch redstone torch redstone torch block block repeater and dust and that's you set up guys so what we want to do now is we can see this gap next to the door here. So we're gonna fill in just the front there. Let's just take that up. I'm gonna do three lines out. So one, two, and three. The only reason I'm doing this is so that to make sure you don't interfere with the pistons over here with redstone, putting the lines in. And as you can see, it's the four glass there. So we're gonna do another wall, just the other side of the glass. Just here. One, two, three. And you can do the other side later. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a block just here and a block just here, like that. So you've got your door from the front and two little blocks at the side. And we're going to put redstone. To Dust, redstone, dust, redstone, dust, redstone, dust, all the way to your block. Making sure we have a repeater in the line here so it passes the power through. You can put the repeater anywhere you want, really, as long as it's uh, in between half of the redstone. So we're going to do the same here redstone, dust, redstone, dust, redstone, dust, redstone, dust, redstone, dust, and put some there. And we're going to take out a piece of the line and put a repeater in there. And then we're going to attach some buttons just to the inside of these <clears throat> so that it'll pass the power through. And that should be it, guys. Let's see if it works. So we're going to go from this side first because then pistons are closed. Yeah. And that's the mechanism sorted, guys, for the wall. Now, if you want to put a door into it as well, we're going to take these four blocks out of the middle. We're going to get our rail and the gate. And if you put the rail on the floor, <clears throat> oh, nope, that's wrong. Put some blocks first, then the gates, then the rail. Just like that, we're going to open these gates. So now when I press the button and close it, that should take him with him, just like that. And then we press the button to open it. The door and the gates are open. And that's it, guys. Now, for anyone that wants to put powered rail through here, so you can make like a wall that will open, so you go for some detector rail. We're going to get some um, powered rail. We're going to take these out and take the floor out. Put some torches in. And then put some rail. All we're going to do 
is we're gonna pass this rail out like this. Do something these. Just like that. And put that rail in first. Then Oh, my bad. Sorry about that guys. One less than the other length of the rail. straight there just like that so now you can have rails going through but because you put the torches underneath when we shut it let's just shut that off they shut off and when we open it they come on just like that and there you have it guys that is your 8x4 wall with that's only too thick apart from the buttons all done and dusted and you can use this wherever you want. And if anyone get, comes up with something really cool, let me know uh, if you used it to implement it. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Vinny Ball 666 on the Xbox 360.